Crypto prices are plunging. Is this the crash? Is this the beginning of the end? The short answer is no, it's not the beginning of the end. Are we at the beginning of maybe some down cycle, some downtrend where prices are going to continue to go down? Yeah, that's entirely possible. Ironically, what's happening doesn't have a lot to do with crypto. There is one factor out there that I'm going to make you aware of that you didn't know. I don't know if you know this, but the U.S. government is like the fourth largest holder of Bitcoin in the world. If you didn't know that, you now do. They're one of the top 10 holders. The way they have acquired all that that Bitcoin is through uh, asset seizures, like with the, when Silk Road, uh, other various you know scenarios like that. And so there's rumor and speculation that and fear that the U.S. government is going to unload the fifty thousand plus Bitcoin or more that they have. In fact, I, the the number that's escaping, but it's a big one. And they have come, they have publicly come out and said that they're going to unload some of it by the end of the year. There's fear out there around that. But ironically, that's not the lead story. That's just a little side story you needed to be aware of. This video is not all doom and gloom. Okay, so I want to make you aware of some things that are going on. Okay, so as I said, bottom line, this is right now, this moment, this is really not a crypto problem per se. This is a fear about the overall financial market scenario. Look at this. If you look at Yahoo Finance, which is where I basically look at one of the main portals I look at, the Dow's down 362, Nasdaq's down 45, and look at this. PacWest stock plunges 30% after losing 9.5% of deposits last week. Okay, what, what does that have to do with crypto? Banking crisis, two words, banking crisis. Now, those words have nothing to do with crypto, but they scare the heck out of the, every, the average everyday person. When all you see and hear every day on any news media source, either online or TV, radio, whatever it may be, is banks are failing. What does that create? Fear. Crypto prices are moving down about three plus percent. As of right now, they're recording this video. We're going to go take a look at that right now. Let me show you what I'm seeing. Okay. So the entire crypto market's down about 3% right there. Okay. Uh, Bitcoin down three and a half. Ethereum down three, 3.7. 3 Bitcoin has gone down below 27 to uh, 26,000 and change. Um, and I expect them to maybe move lower because of this, because of the fear that people are now starting to have kind of on a macro level of just like, oh my God, is my local bank going to go under? Ironically, crypto will ultimately benefit from this because you will see people moving away from traditional, you know, traditional uh, scenarios and starting to put money into crypto. But pervasive around that, surrounding that is fear, uncertainty, doubt. I wish there was a day when I could make a video and not talk about fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That would be nice. I would love to be able to not have to mention inflation, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. But this is the economic and financial conditions market world we live in right now. And my job, sitting in the seat, by the way, thank you for your support and thank you for giving me a voice, is to tell you the truth and tell you what is going on. And right now, banks failing right and left, what the government will or will not do about that, the inflation, what the government will not will or will not do about interest rate hikes that are coming or not coming, all that kind of stuff, it's all not great, okay? What is the silver lining? What is the opportunity? For those of you guys who have been following me for a while, you know what the opportunity is. The opportunity is for the brave, the people that step in and buy on the red days. And I'm not just talking about crypto. Buy stocks, buy Amazon, Tesla, not investing advice. Do what's right for you. When you buy on the red days, when you buy when things are down, you lock in extremely low cost. And thus, when there are green days down the road, which there will be, you reap the profit benefit, the massive profit benefit. The vast majority of money is made when you buy low and you buy on the red days. Most people do it the wrong way. They buy on the green days. They buy on the FOMO days. Oh my God, I got to be in because Bitcoin's running. Oh my God, I got to get that. I got to get that. That's fine, but just shooting straight with you. So why is crypto down? Banks, PacWest, First Republic, all that, blah, blah, blah. Fear around that? Yes. Is this the crash we've been fearing? No, I don't think so. 
I personally don't think so. I think that this is outside of crypto, but it is impacting crypto. It's bleeding over into crypto because the fear is bleeding over. Literally, you can see it, feel it, hear it. If you're paying attention, people are fearful. And what happens when people are fearful? They pull their money out. They pull their money out of stocks. They pull their money out of mutual funds. They pull their money out of crypto and they go and they literally go, should I put it under the mattress at my house? And no, that's not a good <laughs> financial um, solution. Not in my opinion. As my grandfather used to say, this too shall pass. But right here, right now, it sucks. It does. Let's call it what it is. But I'm here every day. Thank you for your support. I'll see you.